Hello and welcome to the 15th episode of Williams Whiteboard. I'd like to say thank you to all of you that have come, watched, liked, shared, and commented on previous episodes and videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, my heart is a little heavy today. Um, and as a result of that, uh, it's very hard and difficult for me to channel my normal levels of enthusiasm. Um, but um, I've got something I want to talk to about, I want to talk to you all about today. And uh, here it goes. I'd like to talk about the results stack. The results stack. So in all of our business, regardless of what we're doing, goods, services, support, um, policy, you name it, in the end, we're all looking for results. And as a result of that, we are bound to do the work and do the F and make the effort and give the effort necessary to achieve results. So let's talk about it. So first, all of us want results. But in the results stack, there are things that contribute to the results. And here is the results stack. The first are thoughts, then feelings, then actions, then the results, okay? First comes thoughts, then comes our feelings about those thoughts, then come the actions associated with those feelings, and those equal our results, okay? And in any organization, any team, we often want to change, when we want to change or have different results, we say, let's do some different actions. And that shows up as a list of to-dos, okay? We give, about, give people, give our teams, give our organizations, give our country a new list of to-dos, okay? And as a result of that, we hope that that list of to-dos results in the, re in the results that we're looking for. The challenge with that is that a list of to-dos does not, does not address the feelings and thoughts that support those actions and then therefore those results, okay? We start with the list of to-dos and we get some success, no success, or partial success, and it's like, wow, why, why didn't the list of to-dos work? Because there, were no, there was no work done on the feelings and the thoughts associated. Now, this framework, this is pretty known. This is, uh, you know, in the, in the psychology space, this is pretty known in the organizational um, workspace, work, organizational design and change space. This framework is pretty known. Here's something that I think um, that I think should be added to this framework. And this is beliefs. Okay. In my opinion, this is the most powerful area level in the stack. Because it is the beliefs that affect the thoughts that affect the feelings, actions, and then get to results. If you can address the, feel, the beliefs, which are, in my, in my language, the two Bs, okay? If we in our organization can tackle the two Bs, this is the hearts and minds. Okay. If we can capture hearts and minds, then we have a greater chance of getting the results that we're looking for, okay? Beliefs come from culture, experiences, and environment, okay? That's where the beliefs come from. And in an organization, if you can build a similar culture that has similar experiences in a similar environment, you have a great chance 
of altering the beliefs of the system. Okay. Here's the challenge. Every individual that shows up in your organization, everyone has a different culture, has a different experience, and may have a different environment. Okay. So it is incumbent upon leaders, whatever level they are, to understand that there are cultures, there are experiences, and there are environments that are unique to individuals. And in order to coalesce those folks on a team, in an organization, on a, on a, in a company, in a group, in an agency, you must first address those cultures, experiences, and environments Attempt to create one that is holistic in the belief system. And then once you have the beliefs, thoughts will emanate from those beliefs. Feelings will emanate from those thoughts. Actions will emanate from those feelings. And then there is an opportunity or at least a greater opportunity to get the, to get the results that you want. I truly believe that if we as leaders work on the list of to be's and not on the list of to do's, if we get the to be's right, the individuals with the right beliefs, thoughts and feelings will figure out the right actions. Okay, The list of to do's. If we get the to be's right, the list of to-dos will manifest themselves. Okay. This is Williams Whiteboard. This is the results stack. If you want better results, don't start and stop with a brand new list of to-dos, of actions. Go for the hearts and minds. Work on the to-bees. Okay. Get the beliefs right around a mission, a goal, a better version of the future, and the results will likely take care of themselves. Thank you so very much for your time. And remember, whenever you're challenged with a pro tough problem and you don't know how to quite work it through, grab a whiteboard and some markers and get after it. Be prepared, be kind, be excellent.